Welcome back, everyone. I'm Nick, a.k.a. Dad. I'm Addie, a.k.a. The Monkey. And this is Monkey Business, where we kind of talk about everything that we're putting on our Bronco, yeah. automotive news, um, reviews, yeah. all kinds of things. And this week, we're putting on a product on the Bronco that I've had for a while. I yeah. really enjoyed talking with this company. Um, and it's something that'll help us take you on the adventures with us as we're going off-roading. Um, we've got an off-road park uh, a couple hours from us that we want to try yeah. out Yeah. Um, that a lot of friends have used. So we're going to take you guys along for the adventure. But, you know, let's just get right into what we're going to be installing this week and hopefully give you some tips, tricks, um, and give you a little yeah. bit more information about the company. Maybe mm -hmm. it'll be something you want to install. So what do you got, Monk? So we have the 67 Designs Bronco Rail. And this is something uh, I talked with the company, had a great chat with them. They, they contacted me personally to say, uh, hey, we appreciate you looking at this. What are you going to be using it for? And I kind of told them some of the things that I'd be adding to the rail yeah. um, and, and hopes that, you know, again, we can take you along on the adventure with us. So we've got different attachments uh, mm -hmm. for in the Bronco that we'll go over with you and show you some different things on this Bronco rail that you may like, may not like. Yeah. And how we're going to install it, because I've seen some other people that have installed it, not been super happy with uh, some of the yeah. things you have to do to your Bronco to make it work. We're going to work around those. Yeah. But you know what? What do you think? Let's get started. With this install. Well, here is what you get with the basic rail from 67 Design. We've got our 55-inch rail here. Um, also got this cool sticker from 67 Design, which... We'll definitely find a place for that. Uh, hashtag 67 designs, which we'll definitely be posting this on their site. But besides your 55 inch rail in this kit, you also got the left and right fasteners for the end of the rails with their screws, which we'll talk about later. They also have a carbon fiber center piece, which has a small bolt as well as a larger bolt. Uh, the larger bolt is a 530 seconds, which is why we have this out. Um, it does not come with the kit, but this little Allen wrench does. Um, along with this little toggle here, um, which will actually hold this carbon fiber bracket to the rail. And then also in here, you'll get your installation instructions, which is just a QR code. Takes you right to their website um, to show you how to do the basic install. And then let's show you also what we'll be adding to this rail for our Bronco. So the first step you're going to want to do is you've got your carbon fiber center plate here. And you have the smaller of the two button uh, bolts. So you're going to use this. We're going to put it through the top hole, which is the smaller of the two. And then you're going to take, uh, don't even know what you want to call this. It, you know, it's your little clamp basically and we're gonna put it onto the back. I'm gonna put mine with the flat part facing up. I believe that's probably the, the best way to do this, but you don't wanna screw it all the way down. You wanna screw it down just enough to where you can slide it onto your rail. We'll put her on here. It does go long ways, like I have it here. You don't want it up and down like this, but you just want it sideways. And then we'll slide it in through the end here. slider all the way down there is a little like you saw in the back there there is a little uh, piece that sticks straight down which goes into the rail and then we've got that into the center you also then have the bigger bolt which will go into that spot on your bronco in the, in the very center of the dash um, for the accessory ready spot this will bolt down into that and that will keep this from basically shifting forward and backward like this. Do uh, you also have these two end pieces that will, will keep it from shifting like this. But the problem I had was they want you to screw it into your dash with these uh, screws here. And I, I don't really want to do that. So you've got one that says left and right. And what I've done is I've already attached some double-sided tape to both of them. Um, again, it's just going to keep these are for really just keeping the rail from doing this. Um, and I'm hoping that letting these things set up here, um, that the 3M double-sided tape will do that. 
um, without having to drill in, but you know, that might be a later review. Um, but they do slide on pretty easily, depending on which, which way you have yours orientated left and right. I, I'm gonna put the Series 55 facing forward for right now. Um, I can always go back and redo it. But yeah, they just slide right on. They are at an angle, so just remember that they don't go straight on. And these will go into a couple recesses, um, which we will show you when we get into the Bronco. So let's go put it inside the Bronco and uh, finish up the, the rail itself install. And then we'll show you a few of the other options you can put onto it. All right, well, we're in the Bronco here. Put our rail kind of right here. And I don't have anything tightened down yet. I just kind of want to see where everything falls just to be sure that our little guys here at the end are centered up. You got little depressions at the very edge of your uh, dash here, which are little rectangular spots right over here. And then we've got another one over here, which you probably can't see because it's out of the range of the camera currently. But I think looking at this, that will work out pretty well. I've got it sitting down in there. Both the, the feet at the ends are in the spot. And then this goes right into our Bronco accessory spot. Now this is the one that you don't get from the factory as far as, or from 67 design, you, you need to have uh, your own Allen wrench, which ends up being a 530 seconds which we have right here. We will tighten this one down here, or maybe not tighten, but we'll just get them somewhat snug. Again, just making sure our fitment's good on both sides. We don't wanna get that 3M tape done. But really, it's looking pretty good. Both of them are in their little recesses there. And I think what we can do now is we can Start tightening this center one down here a little bit. That feels snug. I don't wanna put too much torque to these. Just enough to snug them up. Yeah, and that is, I don't know if you'll have much. I don't have the 3M undone yet, I just wanted to check fitment like I said, but it doesn't feel like it's really gonna go anywhere. Especially maybe with that 3M being on there to, might be a little bit thicker than I needed, but well, that looks like it's going to do really well. You can see on this side, I've got, uh, got it in there. We'll go down here. You can see the uh, recess here that that's sitting in. So I think we can call this part complete. Looks good, nice and clean, out of the way. I like it. So what we'll be adding here, we've got our ball connectors here. We've got a universal mount for a phone. We also have a couple GoPro holders here along with this one is our GoPro holder with the clamp and then this is a GoPro holder with the BL20 mount there which is kind of your standard one um, we can add these two together to give us a little bit more articulation and then we've got a couple carbon fiber arms one being the longer and shorter versions um, and again we can use these for the phones we can use these for the GoPros um, just use them in different ways so those will the kind of the attachments we'll be using with this kit and hopefully be able to take you guys on some adventures with us. And now that we have the rail on, we can start putting on the little ball sockets we have here. Make sure to just keep them loose. And we'll probably want one over here for the phone. And it's still just at 5.30 seconds. Uh, hex head allen now that's tight um actually let's do this let's slide him down a little bit and if we decide to put a 
GoPro in here. We'll put him in the center. We'll take another one and we'll slide him down for the cell phone. That is the one thing you can't go past your center point, obviously. Um, but yeah, once you uh, loosen him up a little bit here. Put our cell phone right in here. But yeah, you get everything placed out here. We'll get uh, some of these accessories in, show you what it looks like. Well, we've installed the Bronco rail and have our small GoPro uh, attached here. We've got the small arm, carbon fiber arm attached here in the center, kind of doing uh, back to us as the driver and passengers. And then we have our cell phone connected with the long arm. The other thing is too, these mounts are really well built. All of this is, is metal, which is, I'm, I'm assuming aluminum to keep them lightweight, that carbon fiber, uh, very well built. So 67 design, I mean, you definitely get what you pay for. And like I'd said at the beginning, they called me to tell me or have a conversation. I shouldn't say tell me, had a conversation with me about what I was going to be using the rail for and maybe the different mounts that they would suggest. And uh, again, these are really nice. The rail is really sturdy metal, uh, as well as all the mounts are sturdy metal. Even this little piece here for the GoPro, uh, very thick, very sturdy feeling, very well made. So I would say 67 Design did a great job with this. Obviously there's cheaper versions of this out there for different mounts, but we, we do like the 67 Design. So yeah, check them out at their website and uh, see if it's for you. Well, we just finished up the install of the 67 Design uh, Bronco rail with a couple accessories to go on that rail, the phone mount, and then a couple GoPro mounts. One has a, a small arm to adjust it uh, in different angles, and then the small mount, which gives you more of a point of view uh, from the passenger side. But like I was saying, very well built. Everything in that kit um, felt very sturdy, very solid. Everything from the mounts to the screws you're using, um, really well done. Like I said, I did not personally want to drill into my dash. If you want to, go for it. It will definitely be even more sturdy. Um, but I really think if, if you don't want to do that, that a double-sided 3M tape, um, just cutting slivers uh, to fit right there on the bottom is going to suffice. We'll let you know over the, uh, over the coming weeks and months um, how it held, holds up for us. But as always, we appreciate you watching. Uh, thanks for your support and just have a blessed day.